destructing right now. They need to side out badly here. And Smith and Olsen and Asper can't seem to get it for them. Boy, crowd starting to go bananas. There it is off the block. So I just showed you a clip of Rainbow Wahini's women's volleyball team against Stanford. And this team was founded by Donis Thompson and coached by David Shoji. I wanted to pick a woman in this moment in African American history that was obscure but also phenomenal because Donis Thompson was a pioneer for women's sports and I want to share with you a few fun facts about her and start a poem to describe her accomplishment and what type of person she was. So she was born on April 1st, 1933 in Chicago, Illinois. Then she went to high school at St. Elizabeth and she went and competed on a track and field team and went to Texas and she received her shot put award. 1949, she went to George Williams College and got her BA in physical education. Then in 1961, she went to University of Hawaii. She loved it there. So she wanted to visit and coach for the track and field team. And she was known as the first woman, first black woman to coach at a NCAA institution. So after coaching the team for a year, she went on to get her PhD and run for House of Representatives and met her dear friend, Patsy Mink. So they worked on the Title IX and they passed it. So she noticed that there were no volleyball team for um, women in University of Hawaii, so she founded that. So this is what the poem will be about. Guiding Wahini's dreams with a heart full of love, with a boundless energy, she pursued greatness every day. For the University of Hawaii, she paved the way. She nurtured the young talent, shaped them into stars, instilling values of discipline both on and off the court. In the realms of athletics where dreams were forged, Donis Thompson stood tall, her leadership adored. She championed sportsmanship, honor, and grace, saying that girls and boys should both have the opportunity to play. With Shoji on her side, she commenced the game, and in 1974, she paved the way to victory from UCLA. Celebrated their victories, rejoiced in their glee, shouldering their losses, comforting with empathy. A mentor, a friend, Abika Malai, she embodied resilience, igniting their fight. 